Another two races were scheduled for the final day, and once again the sailors were blessed with wind and sparkling sunshine. This is the first time the event has managed five races. They've been in the programme for the past two years, but the wind has refused to oblige. This year conditions were perfect, and the squadron's race team managed to get all five races in on schedule. Again, the start sent the classes west against the tide for a series of beats and runs in the western Solent. And once again, the 10 to 20 knots of breeze from the northeast delivered perfect conditions. This was to be the deciding day, and at the end of the two races, learning and skills solutions were tied on points in class zero with Werewolf, both on eight points, but the tiebreak went to learning and skills solutions. Pringle Brandon on Fractious finished in third. In class one, Capita Simmons on the J133 Batfish won by three points from Hawk Property and Mansa Practice on King Louis, with Imtech finishing third. The battle among the 40.7s was won by Byrne Brothers, who finished with the first and second on Saturday to win by six points from Blenheim House Construction on Damp Course. The Amy crew on Kiel over two took third. Class two was won by Moxley Architects on Malice, ahead of Elmer Try, while Fenwick Elliott aboard J Dream won every race in the J109s. The 14 boats in Class 3 were shown the way in every race by Stone and Ceramic Warehouse on board the Corby 30 Yes. Exemplar Properties on Slip Free took second. The Sunsail 37 fleet was won by Price and Myers by one point from Blue NG. In the cruising classes, Grass Brothers on Sailplane won Class 4, with Cognition Land and Water on Hydrocarbon taking second. Class 5 was won by Mitty, with a perfect score of five race wins. McGee Group on Rockwell took second in class, with MBM Consulting in third. The coveted overall trophy was retained by last year's winner, Mitty, from Class 5, who, like Stone and Ceramic Warehouse in Class 3, had a perfect scoreline. Mitty won by virtue of there being more boats in Class 5 than in Class 3. Capita Simmons on Batfish from Class 1 took third overall. With the racing over, all that remained was one final party, and the sailors didn't hold back. Despite the comedian who bombed and was booed off the stage, the party was a great success. This event aims to deliver great sailing, seriously good socials and a unique industry networking opportunity. This year it seems to have delivered on all three. Another major part of the event is its charitable contributions. During the last 21 years, the sailors have raised over £1 million for charity. This year was always going to be tricky with half the number of competitors and in a tough economic time. But the crews didn't disappoint, raising around £18,000 on the night, and by the time all the numbers are counted, the organisers expect to have raised over £50,000 for their chosen charities. So that's it from this year's Little Britain, proof positive that size isn't everything when you've got sunshine and wind.